Welcome back, everyone, to our 11 and 1 January specials. We're going to keep the festivities going with Jeopardy for the Nintendo 64. This will count as game 13 of my original run. It went up one $155,298 so far. Let's see if we're going more. Welcome to your favorite game of answers and questions. Thank you. We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. Categories for you are as follows. We have politicians, oh lord, money matters, hmm, world cities, that's more to my liking, there we go. American history, we'll see. Pull it, so we'll close it out with Women on Ice. Make a selection. I'll take uh, American history for 100. On May 22nd, 1906, 1906, they received a patent for an improved model of their airplane. Who are the Wright brothers? Right. American History 200. Select again. Samuel Adams referred to this April 19th, 1775 battle when he said, What a glorious morning for America. Lexington. Pick again. Uh, 300, American history. Prior to his election to the Tennessee legislature in 1821, this frontiersman was a justice of the peace. Uh, who is Andrew Jackson? No. Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? Davy Crockett. Select again. All right. Around 1630, the Dutch founded a fort called the House of Hope on the present side of this Connecticut capital. What is Hartford? That's right. There we go. Thank you. Select again. I'll close it out. Of the three writers of the Federalist Papers, two were New Yorkers and he was a Virginian. Who is Thomas Jefferson? No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Well, boop. James Madison. Pick again. Give me World Cities 100. Hernan Cortez founded Veracruz in this country to serve as a base for his conquest. What is Mexico? That's right. World Cities 2. Select again. Al Kahirah, Al Kahira, meaning the victorious, is the Arabic name for this Egyptian city. What is Cairo? That's a correct response. Here we go. Select World City's again. 300. This most populous city of Ireland is only 45 square miles in area. What is Dublin? You got it. Select again. Dublin, Ireland. Uh, World City's 400. This large German city on the Elbe River was the birthplace of Felix Mendelssohn and Johannes Brahms. Is it Munich? 
No. Gosh, that's wrong. Anyone else? I want to say it's Frankfurt, but I'm not confident enough to buzz in. Hamburg. Select again. Good thing I didn't. The tomb of William the Silent can be seen in this Dutch city that's famous for its pottery. What is Rotterdam? Uh oh. Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? Delft. Pick again. Alright, I definitely don't want politicians, so I'll take money matters 100. 20,000 or so members of this British insur insurance society are called names. Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? Lloyds of London. Pick again. It's buying large quantities from manufacturers and selling smaller lots to retailers. Wholesaling, all right. Select again. Answer the Daily Double. This can be the fee paid to an insurance company or the amount of bond sales for above face value. No, I'm sorry, that's value. wrong. Pick again. Premium. While a put is the right to sell shares at a certain price, this is the right to buy them. A call? You got it. Make a selection. Training six days a week on our camels and other moves. One heard that's gold at the 76 Olympics. Who is Dorothy Hamill? Right. Make a selection. At age 10 in 1924, she won the first of six straight Norwegian figure skating champions. Championships. Who is Sonja Heaney? Right. Select again. In 1984, she and partner Christopher Dean earned 6.0s for artistic impression across the Olympic board. Jane Torbell. Select again. At the 94 Olympics, this German placed seventh in her attempt to win a third gold. Katarina Witt. You got it. Make a selection. Before the first edition of Leaves of Grass, he wrote a novel, Franklin Evans, or The Inebriate. Who is Walt Whitman? You got it. Make a selection. Arthur Rimbaud's most famous work, Un Saison and Enfer, translates as A Season in This Place. Make a selection. Matsuo Basho is best known as the progenitor of the modern form of this three line poem. What is haiku?
Right. Out of the hole. Select again. The bell tolled for this death be not proud point in 1631. John Select Hill. again. His first book length poem, Monage of a Dream Deferred, describes a variety of Harlem life. Pick again. Uh, money matters five hundred. The School of Economics, named for Brighton, stresses the role of government in the economy. What is Wharton School, or what is Wharton? No, sorry. Anyone else? Pick again. Indonesian. All right. Though she fell in a triple loop in the 1992 Olympics, she still took the gold. And it's Chrissy Yamaguchi. Pick again. Politicians 100. In 1974, George Ariyoshi was elected this state's first Japanese American governor. What is Hawaii? That's right. Select again. In 1968, he won. He just won his fifth presidential primary when an assassin took his life. George Wallace? Gosh, that's wrong. Anyone else? Robert Select again. Calling him mortally obtuse, the Maryland Court of Appeals disbarred him in 1974. Spiro Agnew. Select again. All right. Throughout the 1970s, this Arizona son, Senator's son, Barry Jr., was a U.S. representative from California. Who is Barry Goldwater? That's right. Select again. Supported the Missouri Compromise, he represented Kentucky in Congress on and off 1806 to 1852. And we're looking for Henry Clay. All right, it's time now for the Double Jeopardy round. Remember, we have two daily doubles in this round of play. And I'm in uh, second place with no money right now. Categories for you are as follows. These categories are going to be better here. Colleges and universities. Fashion. Business and industry. Design. Potpourri, and we'll close it out with Herbs and spices. Make a selection. Walter Teague designed the basic station for Texaco and in 1934 a baby brownie for this company. 
That's right. Make a selection. At this French Queen's Minister of Fashion, Rose Burton designed lavish gowns and excessive hairdos. Marie Antoinette. You got it. Select again. This onion relative and baked potato topper is a classic ingredient of finest herbs. What are chives? You got it. Herbs and spices for it. Make a selection. According to a myth, Venus created marjoram to heal a wound caused by his love arrow. Who is Cupid? You got it. Select again. This herb whose name means dragon was once thought to cure venomous bites. Tarragon. You got it. Make a selection. In 1934, this French firm, known for its pens, introduced the disposable razor. What is Gillette? No? What is Beak? Right. Business and industry firm. Make a selection. A brewer began publishing this book in 1955 to help settle arguments in British pubs. What is the Guinness Book of World Records? You got it. Select again. In 1909, this American opened his first three and sixpence store in England. F.W. Woolworth? You got it. Make a selection. This university has 13 schools and colleges, 11 in Ithaca, New York, and 2 in New York City. What is Harvard? Wait, no. No, Harvard's in Massachusetts. What is Columbia? No. Gosh, that's wrong. Anyone else? Cornell. All right. Make a selection. Relatively speaking, this tall timepiece was named for a 19th century song by Henry C. Work. What is a grandfather clock? You got it. Make a selection. It's the kind of bear that symbolizes California on California state seal. What's a grizzly bear? That's a correct response. Select again. Natural Lindsay wrote a poem in praise of this wandering seed spreader. Who's Johnny Appleseed? That's right. Select again. The first of these language schools was founded in 1878 in Providence, Rhode Island. That's a correct response. Make right. a selection. 
A yukata, a cotton type of this Asian garment, is perfect for taking a walk on a summer evening. It's a kimono. All right. Make a selection. Answer. A daily double. This spice, originally from the West Indies, tastes like a blend of cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon. All spice? Right. Makes sense. Select again. In 1955, in Des Plaines, Illinois, he opened the first McDonald's franchise. Who is Ray Kroc? Right. Make a selection. I'll take uh, the thousand dollar clue in the last category. The price, is, the price of this wild root of China has reportedly been as high as twenty three thousand dollars per ounce. It's a lot of money. Ginseng? Right. Make a selection. In the 1850s, this American inventor patented his design for a steel glass storage jar. Who is Mason? That's right. Make a selection. Giorgio Giugiaro has designed side cool watches in this 1974 Volkswagen model known in Europe as the Golf. I'm going to say what's the rabbit. Right. Uh huh. Select again. From about 1897 to World War II, PJ Tull sold this maple syrup. In a tin shaped like one of these structures. What is a log cabin? That's right. Yeah. Select again. Eero Arneo is known for a ball type of this item of furniture. Eero Sorinin for a wound type. Chair. Pick again. Oh, that's it. Okay. Um, pull three, one thousand. One hundred cents equals one Leon in this West African country. Uh, it only makes sense. So, what is Sierra Leone? Right. Yep, makes sense. Select again. This large maker of over-the-counter painkillers is headquartered in Leverkusen, Germany. What is Tylenol? No? What is... It's not Advil, okay. Not Tylenol, it's not... Um, it's not Tylenol, it's not Advil. Uh, That's a correct response. Okay. Select again. Uh, don't want fashion or colleges and universities. College and universities are here. Vice Presidents Aaron Burr and George Dallas were graduates of this New Jersey University. What is Princeton? You got it. Colleges and universities for 600. Select again. The Pontifical, the Pontifical Catholic University of this U.S. possession is located in Ponce. Uh, 
Pick again. Oh, Ponce, not Ponce. Sorry. Double, double, double. Pick again. These full trousers made for a 19th century reformer were gathered at the ankles in the Turkish style. Bloomers. Select again. This designer of the topless swimsuit was also known for his daring see-through blouses. Select again. Turn right. Okay. A wide brimmed hat of the early 1900s was named for this bronze Lehar op operetta with a happy title. players start thinking about your wagers for Final Jeopardy based on what you know about this category. And your Final Jeopardy answer is... Due to an adjustment, 1994 contained an extra one of these units of time. successful. What did you put down as your response? You got it. It's a second. I got it. Yay! Boop, boop, boop. No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. So I win $10,001 this game. You got it. Putting it out $165,299. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon. And Wait now, a minute. here is our host, Alex. We'll have to wrap it up for this segment, and I'll see you all for the next one.